everybody. I hope you're all doing wonderful. I am doing wonderful. So, <laughs> yay! There's my little journal. So if that lets you know why I'm feeling amazing, we have reached 500 subscribers. Um, I couldn't believe it when I got up. I believe it was yesterday morning. And um, I had a comment from one of you and you were like, you were a brand new subscriber. Thank you. And you were like, I hope I help you get to 500, something like that. And I thought, mm, that that's interesting. I wonder where I am. And I went and looked and I was at 500. So I don't know how to tell. I have to dig in further and see if it's of uh, the information's available. Uh, but I'd love to know who that 500th person was. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I did make it uh, finally. So I did my journal page. And there we have it. Sorry, the light's weird today, but it's, wow, 500. And the thanks, of course, on there has to be on there because it didn't have as much to do with me as it had to do with you guys. Uh, without you, I'd just be sitting here talking to Miss Bella and myself. So um, I thank you. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart that you got me to my very first YouTube goal. Um, back when I was at, you know, <laughs> under 100, never thought it was possible. And then the closer we got, it was like, it's right there. It's right there. I can see it. I can see it. Can I ever get there? And yes. And I just... I'm just so grateful, so thankful, so amazed, blown away, mind exploded, the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I'm thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me there. Uh, this is your channel more than my channel. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you guys are amazing. Uh, and then the other stickers that I have on here is just what I've been doing with this channel and the first thing is be yourself I mean this is me there's there's no <laughs> um and that's her uh, uh yeah this is this is just me and that's all I wanted to be on here I don't want to be some kind of personality I don't want to be you know your comedy show I don't want to be fake um I don't want to give you dishonest reviews on items so it's just me and some people have liked it uh, a lot of you have liked it, 500 uh, and more now. I think we have 501 or something. Uh, more than 500 people have liked it. Uh, actually, more than that of you watch. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go down below because I have another goal. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to be myself. And the ones who haven't liked it, one or two have left comments testifying strongly to the fact that they do not like my channel uh and that's fine you know, you know free speech whatever everybody likes something different so yeah i'm not for everybody as other youtubers are some of them are not for me some of them are definitely for me and i follow them subscribe to them comment to them and just i just love their channels so i hope that's how you feel about me um so that's be yourself and i mean that in anything you you can try to be fake but it's so hard to hold on to that fakeness but just be yourself and if somebody doesn't like you well you know Bye. There's there's billions of people in this world, so somebody's gonna like you. <laughs> Lots of people are gonna like you, and uh, yeah, you don't need the ones that don't like you. You don't have to try and be something that you're not in any form of your life. You either. You do not need to pretend that you're a massive guard dog. Quiet. <laughs> um, and then the other little one I have here. Um, I have here the date that it happened, so I can remember looking back. But on here, this one says, "Do what you love." And I love getting in front of a camera. I love, I love Timu. I love Dollar Tree. Um, I love travel. And I love showing those things to people. Um, Timu, I like finding cool things on there and letting you guys know if something works or something doesn't work or if it's this big or if it's this big, you know. <laughs> and um, same with Dollar Tree. I like you to realize that that's a store that has a lot of good things in it. It's got some things that aren't so, but a lot of good things you can get for a dollar and a quarter um, to help your money go farther, especially nowadays. Uh, and then travel, if you have watched me at all, if you look down in my list of videos, you will see I love to travel when I can. And I love to share that with people, especially my love of cruising, my love of the Carnival Cruise Line, um, my love of Greece. Oh my God, 
my favorite place in the world. Uh, besides being here with you guys. <laughs> if I could be in Greece and with you guys, oh wow. Um, but anyway, yeah, do what you love, if at all possible. I know that's not possible all the time in our daily lives. Sometimes we just got to make money. We just got to support our families. We, we just got to get things done and great but find something you can do that you love even if it's a hobby uh even if it's just you know five minutes of meditation every morning if it's a walk with your beautiful dog um if it's talking to your family if it's seeing your grandkids or your kids i mean anything seeing your parents if they're still around and enjoying that find something that you love uh and put some time into it dreams this one i like a lot so there's that one do what you love be yourself and then this one dreams loading because, yeah, this was one of my dreams. I'm like, I, I want to do that. And it's loading. It's it's going. It's, it's on its way. And then, of course, dream big. So, yes, we're here. You did it. You helped me. We're going to celebrate. It's amazing. But what's next? A thousand. <laughs> so, keep dreaming big, y'all. So, um, our next goal, and I say us, uh, we're in this together, is a thousand. So, Let's start pumping away on that thousand. And what helps me to get seen more on YouTube, to get noticed a little more, to get more um, reviews uh, from companies, to just get more subscribers, all of that, to help support my channel, um, all of those things, um, it's you guys. So what helps me? The thumbs up, like button down below helps immensely. Comments help greatly with the YouTube algorithm and getting seen. Hi, Miss Bella. And also, it helps my heart because I love reading your comments. Um, and then sharing, of course, always helps. Share my video, you know, put it on Facebook. Hey, come check this girl out, whatever. Um, and yeah, all of those things. Subscribing, of course, helps me out. Uh, and then the notification bell, when you click that, helps you guys out because it tells you when I've posted something on my, a video or a post, something like that. So she's kind of just chilling out. Um, yeah, I'm trying to help the glare a bit. I don't know why it is so foggy, glary over here. It's kind of a hazy, yucky day, but it's a good day. I got up, I'm breathing. Um, and I, I got to 500, so it's an amazing day. <laughs> anyway, there's my little journal page. Um, yeah, and then for, I don't think I showed you this one. This one I did on the 7th. Um, the top one says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. True. Uh, care and diligence did take two. Care and diligence <laughs> bring luck. So you know sometimes luck is luck, but sometimes you know taking care, like with my job search, you know, I need good luck on that. But that takes you know my taking care with what I'm submitting, the jobs I'm applying for, how my resume looks. Diligence, keep pumping out those applications, keep trying, keep hustling. And that helps create good luck. Happy thoughts, of course. Happy thoughts. They make you happy. I mean, what more can you want out of life? They make you happy. Practice makes perfect. And that's on anything. Um, I'm hoping my videos get better as I keep doing them. Um, I know my job skills get better as I do them. Uh, uh, applying for jobs is getting better. I interview better because I've been practicing. So practice makes perfect. Uh, this little one with beautiful hummingbird says, your efforts matter, even when it feels like they're not getting you far. That I really needed to hear with this job search because I just felt like nothing was happening. So I needed that one. And then, of course, more happy thoughts. And this one down here, never give up. Okay. And then I just wrote on here that I have a screening. I had a screening call on the 9th. And then I had my first screening call for a job, hallelujah. And this, I have my first scheduled interview on the 14th. So yeah, so I'm still, that was the first job. It's exec admin. Yeah, it's about, looks like it's, well, it's gonna be like 40 minutes or so from my house. That's kind of a bummer, but the pay is really, 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 really good. So that would balance it. <laughs> And it's in a really uh, fancy part of Dallas. A little, I don't know if you'd call it a suburb or a section of Dallas. Um, and then the other one that I that I haven't heard back yet that I had the screening call on the 9th. Uh, that one I really, really want. That's a, um, an office manager position. Down. And they actually just created that position. So it wouldn't be like taking over from somebody else. It would be like making that role mine. And 
it just would use my facility management skills. It would use my um, admin skills. It would use my HR skills. It would use my tech skills and my Excel and PowerPoint and all that. I really would like that one. I think the pay is just a little bit less than the other one. It's also kind of far, about 30 to 40 minutes, depending. Um, but yeah, that role just sounds, it just intrigues me. So I like stuff like that. So anyway, that was that journal page. And then we came to that. Okay, I'm done with that. If you came here for a Timu haul, I am sorry, it's already 10 minutes, but I had to do all that. Um, I could do like others have done and put a little, it won't help you much because you have to have watched this far to see this notice, but uh, so maybe I won't do that. Some people put like a little timestamp below in the comments and say the haul starts at such and such minutes, but um, I can do that, I guess, if I remember. Um, and then remember we were doing our little mindfulness cards. They came in this Timu pack. So if you were seeing this on Timu, you get these little cards in here. And it's just, it's just stuff for, they call it authentic conversations with children, starters for that. But I think it works for anyone and I'm going to use them with you guys. So I just thought this one was so appropriate for today. So the cards always have just this little thing on here. And then the back has a question and it starts a conversation. So um, we're going to do this card at the very end. So come back for this or stay for that. <laughs> And then I have a little, a little Timu haul. Sit down, my dear. Uh, that I want to get going on for you guys. So it's just a couple items, but I wanted to get my items. Bella, Miss Bella, I closed the shades for you, babes. Come on. Um, okay, these are just some of those magic erasers. Stop. Thank you. Uh, magic erasers that come five in a pack. So there's five of them in here. Just let's see the size they are. Um, and they are, they were partially refunded. I spent 48 cents. I got a partial refund. Um, and now they are 41 cents. Um, the other thing I wanted to, come on, computer. It's like every time I hit the backwards button, it, it just expands the screen instead of goes backwards. It's cuckoo beans. Um, but these are kind of self-explanatory, but I've seen others haul them and like them. I was trying to find where it opens. And I'm not being successful at it. <laughs> so, um, I was just going to tell you something else, and now I don't know what it was. Oh, have you all noticed that the price adjustment thing is different now? Is that Has that changed for you guys? It's changed for me. So I wanted to mention it um, in case you're like, what's going on? So yeah, you just got your little, sorry if that bothers your noise. It's just that, oh, it gives me a creepy feeling. <laughs> but anyway, it's those erase, you know, the magic erasers um, that you can use on walls and all different places. And it takes off a lot of different, you know, stain, not stains, but um, spots and stuff on your walls or whatever. So they're great. Price adjustments. It used to be where you click on you at the bottom of your app and then you click on your orders and then you click on an order, you used to get like a little column of choices, like refund your item, review an item. And if it said price adjustment, you knew that something in your order had dropped in price and you were going to get a credit for it. And you could just keep clicking through to get. Now, hold on. Okay, so now I've noticed that when you click on, here I can, so, um, Okay. Okay. So that's kind of hard to see, but um, we'll try our best, right? Okay. So on the bottom of your app, it says you, and you click on you, and then you get all these choices of things you can do, and you click on your orders. Okay. So now we'll go to this order. Okay. We'll try this. Well, let me see. This one I've already gotten. So you go down and see all your orders listed there. So I click on one of my orders. And now it's got this list on there. Leave a review, view receipt, return, and price adjustment. That now, at least for me in this version that they've given me, it doesn't mean you have a price adjustment. It's weird. So I click on it. So it's telling me at the top... Sorry, you cannot 
request a price adjustment for this order. So it's telling me the things in my order and that they have not dropped in price. And then it goes through and tells me things that I've already gotten a price adjustment on in the past. And then following items are currently aren't currently on sale. So yeah, it's very weird now. But I noticed that when, when there is one, so you'll get the screen if nothing in there has dropped in price. And you do that same process and then this screen comes up and there is a price drop then you will see that old screen of you know here's your item here's what you paid here's what it is now here's the price adjustment click through request adjustment and then you know request it timu credit and on you go so if you've noticed that too that's the difference so still click on that price adjustment but if you see it you know you're like where's the price adjustment it just keeps saying it's not applicable i think it's just there to tell you that those items are still within 30 days and could qualify for a price adjustment, but not necessarily, I mean, there's not one necessarily available. So keep checking on your orders as we've done in the past, but just be aware that if you're getting that screen, that I'm gonna get back to my order, that that's what's going on with your with the screens. Something has changed and I noticed they'll change something like that and then they'll change it back again and on and off and some people get the change and others don't so I just wanted to make you aware of that all right what do we have next okay we got this little doodad where are you doodad okay um this is just a little cleaning tool this was in when I did the um in the search bar in Timu I did search uh I searched for cheapest items available I sort it by price low to high, and I just go through as far as I want um, and see if there's anything that's on a really great deal right now that is an item that I might want. So I saw this one in there, and I thought, oh, yeah, that looks cool. So I spent um, 55 cents on this. I got a partial refund. Oh, wow, they're saying it is now $2.64. Dying. So this might have been on one of those deal deals. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's um, effortlessly clean your kitchen and bathroom tiles with the multi-function crevice brush. So I just have a hard time getting around like faucets sometimes and getting in there. And I don't want to like push with a rag with my nails and wreck my nail polish and all that kind of crud. You know, those things. First world problems. But this is a very, you hear that? It's a very stiff brush. And it's very thin, so it'll get into all your little creases and crevices. It's got a nice handle on there. It's got a hook. You know, you could hook that and hang it somewhere. Um, it's about a handed handy measuring tape. <laughs> it is. Let me make sure I get to inches. Um, yeah, be careful when you're looking at measurements of things on Timu. Always look at the measurements before you order an item so you don't get that, oh, it's smaller than I wanted or larger than I wanted um, issue. But make sure you look at it carefully because normally their first measurement or the one they list first is usually centimeters. So make sure you're looking at inches because it's a big difference. So this is eight inches long. So handy dandy measuring tool. So yeah, it's, it's eight inches there, right there. Okay. All right, so that one looked like it was cool. Now that I've got my nails up there, you'll see they're getting kind of bad. This one shipped. This is that, um, I get the nail. Oh, darn. It's the one I did a review on, the gel nail polish. So it's been on over a week. Um, this one chipped badly down here, which is weird. The rest look halfway decent. Don't pay attention to my infected finger there. It looked pretty good. Um, this one is... This is the one I normally have issues with, this finger for some reason. Um, but you see it's chipping on the top there and then it's like starting to want to peel on the edge. That one's got a chip in it. So for me, it lasted pretty well, but my nails do grow fast. So you can see how fast they've already grown in a week down here. So I would want to change it, you know, about a week, week and a half anyway. Um, but now this damage down here you know where it's chipping down there on both these fingers that could be user error because it's the first time i've ever used gel nail polish so keep that in mind but so far i mean i like it it stayed beautiful for a long time a week it's pretty good for me personally um somebody asked if you can use it on fake nails it says you can 
So there's that. So now I'm going to have to go through my first time removing this polish and seeing how easy or difficult that is, and I'll let you know. Okay, our next handy dandy tool. This was on that cheapest thing, so I got it for 31 cents, and then I got some kind of a price adjustment. Um, this is oh, right now it's a dollar 13. Um, but it is a one piece portable toilet brush with V shaped bent handle for easy cleaning. And they give you any, it's a random color, you don't pick your color on it. And the measurement says it is 8.07 inches long, but it just gets under the, the rim, you know, around, around the edge of your toilet bowl when you need to go under there. This easily goes under your rim and cleans down there in hard to reach areas. Again, it's this plastic, some nice kind of rough bristles, about that much. So the bristle area is about, it's about a half an inch long, half an inch. Is that really half an inch? I swear that'd be an inch in my world. Yeah, it's an inch. <laughs> it's an inch long here this way. Um, you see how thick they are? Nice, you know, it's a rubber, uh, plastic, hard plastic. You know, you could break it if you really tried. And then it does have a nice little hook on there if you have maybe hooks on the side of your toilet or under under your cabinet or wherever you put your cleaning tools, you could hang it on a nice hook. So I just thought that was kind of neat. And I thought I would try it for a lousy 31 cents. Those are the ones I'm like, do I need it? Oh, I really would like to try it and see if, if I use it and need it. And if it's like 20, 30 cents, yeah, I'm going to get it and try it. Now, this I got for diamond painting, okay? And then I really got into my diamond painting. So hold on for one second. I'm going to leave you. And I'm going to come right back because everything's right here. Okay. So when I was really got into it and finished it and, you know, really went hardcore on it for a few days, um, I, for me personally, it was easier to put it in a container like this. And I got this in a, in a, an auction lot. So yeah, I don't know where to tell you to get it. But um, anyway, it's just got these little sections in it. And it should have, it originally probably came with little dividers this way too, because there's a slot for them, but this didn't have it. But anyway, I liked to keep them in the bags because they have, you know, the number the code that you need to match with your diamond painting on the bag. And so I just did it by, you know, 100, 200, 300, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that was easier for me personally. And I didn't realize that until after I had made this order. So if this is something that might help you, if this is how you like to do your diamond painting, cool. I was just thinking if you put your diamonds in here, you're going to have to label the boxes somehow so that you know the code and because they're just too tiny to stick those bags in here and it's not going to hold that many. it just wasn't what I thought it would be anyway it is a 28 grid artificial diamond painting holder um, it's 6.8 6.8 by 4.2 by 0.86 inches it is plastic um, it was for me 85 cents. It is right now a dollar 99. Uh, but yeah, they show you just putting them in here and having all your little diamonds in here. But then how would you know what the colors were? I don't know. And then they're showing it. So see, some colors, depending on your painting, like mine for the sky was really big. And so it had a big bag of a lot. I think there were 4,000 and something of the little diamond things. Um, I forget what what you call them, what you're supposed to call them. But anyway, um, it had over 4,000 of them in there. So they're not going to fit in one of these tiny little boxes. So I'm seeing how they're doing it. Can you see like that whole first row is one color, one color. So those must be the majority colors. And then when they got down to the colors that you didn't have a lot of, they put them into these. But how would you know from looking at that what code they were to match up with your diamond painting so yeah it didn't make as much sense to me so I'm not sure what I'll use it for I'll find something but it comes like this so you just open your little little snappy things there you see it so it just snaps okay and then it just unsnaps very easy you open it up 
and then you've got these sections okay so you've got one two three four five six seven of those so 28 seven by four so those sections come out and then each one of these sections individually opens up and you can put something in there so <clears throat> excuse me you could put now that i'm thinking about it you could put like a ring in there so that ring fits if it's not a huge ring you could use it to store your rings and then you could see them from the top of what you had in there um you could use it for um beads for the bead bracelets you know like the um pan, pan, pandora uh, bracelets and stuff or the fake you know the the Timu ones you could put the beads in here so you'd always have them that you could see through and see what they were um, to make your bracelets for does that go in or out inside okay to make your bracelets for different holidays or something um, I have some of these little attachments like I use for zippers that break go down why are you acting funky so I got that from Timu, but it's just a little thing where you can put it on a broken zipper. Now you have a better zipper pull. I could keep those in there. Um, you could keep tiny ponytail holders in there, the little ones, if you have like a little little girl or something, or you use those. So there's a multitude of things you could use these for, but they're not going to work personally for me for my original purpose for buying this little box. Um, it's not going to work for me for diamond painting, but there it is. I'm not going to send it back or anything. That's on me. Uh, my bag. Okay. What do we... Oh, okay. So, I am not great when it comes to knowing anything much about earbuds and stuff. So, I had a set that my two companies ago uh, bought, gave us these earbuds. And so, I bought one of these prior um, little cases you can hold. Put them in and then you can put a chain on them or something and store, the, you know, like a keychain on them and put it in your purse so they're easily accessible. Well, the one I bought was way too big for the iPod or fake iPod case that I had. So I thought I would try one smaller. I don't know the sizes of like the Pro 4 or the 3 or whatever they all come in. So I was hoping it would fit. It was $1.64. I have not tried it yet. As you see, I just took it out of the bag. But it's a, this one says suitable for Pro 4 Generation AirPod. It was 164, it's still 164. It comes in six different colors. Blue, white, black, pink, is that an orange or red? Red and yellow. And sometimes the prices vary with color. Let me see if these do. Yeah, like white's 172. Everything else is 164. But it's just a little case. So the top of your um, iPod case would would squish in here so that's what would hold it close would be the original iPod closure thing you know and then there's a hole for your charging and then there's a cute little hole here that you could like I said put a keychain or something on there and hook it maybe to the side of your purse or to the zipper pull or something so you didn't have to dig through a big bag or you know if you bring in a backpack with you on a plane or something you could easily find them so I'm gonna see which one fits which one works the best and that's what I'll take with on my trip to Knoxville uh, for Christmas to see my son. So there's that. And what do we have here? Oh, okay. Uh, these again are just some cool stickers that I want to put on my resale packages. So speaking of which, here's one here. I got an order Saturday uh, for a blouse that I was selling. I have a whole bunch of clothes in that closet there that I got in an auction. So, and I got the entire closet of clothes in this home, the entire woman's closet of clothes uh, for a dollar. A dollar. I was the only one who bid on it, and the starting bid was a dollar. I got it for a dollar. And there were, and when I got there, I was like, oh my God, there's so much clothes. Because what they were doing, um, this was around COVID or a little after what they were doing was having online auctions and they're still doing them, but they were having online auctions at the houses. They were showing, took pictures of everything in the house, estate sale. And then, um, when you won the bid, everything started at a dollar. And when you won the bid, then on that following, usually it was a Friday, 
sometimes a Saturday, uh, you would have to go to wherever this house was located and pick up your lot and you have to package it all yourself. So I got there and I didn't think to bring anything with me. So except a couple smaller bags, not thinking how much was in this closet. <laughs> and um, I got there and I was just overwhelmed. Like, how am I going to get all these clothes out to my car? And it was the second story. Luckily, this person had a whole bunch of dry cleaning bags, those long plastic bags um, from the dry cleaners in the closet, empty. And so I thought, ah, so I turned them upside down so the hanger hole was on the bottom. I'd fill them all up with clothes, tie them in a big knot, and then I had a whole bunch of those bags and filled the bags I had. And I finally, after multiple trips, they were helping me at one point because they were like, we want to leave for lunch and you got so much stuff. Anyway, the drag off of the car. So the very first item I sold out of there, I'm more than made my money back. So now everything I get now is just cha-ching. So, I mean, it's not a huge business. Don't think about that. This is the first item I've sold in weeks I think so I'm hoping with Christmas on the run I thought I would be getting a lot of orders but unfortunately not but I'm also not posting any new like listing any new items I don't I can't be buying anything for that right now um so when you don't list a lot it's like with YouTube if you don't post videos you go lower in the order of them like promoting you and the same thing with eBay and stuff. If you're not listing items every day or twice a week or something, then you start to fall, you know, down and become unfindable almost. So if you're interested in any of my stuff, though, there's a link below in the description underneath this. There's a description thing and it says more. Click on that more and you'll get a huge descriptive box, which has links to all these items. It's got my other sites on there. Anyway, so um, I can't give you that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so then I take this package and I put the, the label on it and then I'm putting all these little stickers. So that's a cute sticker. It says, um, thank you for supporting my small business. I got that from Timu. We've got that one. Warning contents. Contents. No, warning. Opening this package will cause extreme happiness. So that's kind of cute. Um, and then down here it says, um love loved it question mark, love it question mark please let me know by leaving a review so i just put these little stickers all around the package just make it a little happier package and i also take the especially clothes i wrap them in you know pretty tissue paper or i put them in the plastic bags that i get from timu the clear ones you know that clothes come in i put that in there so they're a little more waterproof then i use packing materials from dollar tree and off it goes so there's that so these were going to go on the packages as just fun. So they are 500 pieces of one inch. So they're only about the size of a quarter. One inch, eight design. So there's eight different designs on here. And they call them reward stickers. So I paid $1.99 but got um, a partial refund. They are also right now $1.76. And like I said, they come in eight different designs. So you just get them on this roll. It's a nice big roll. So you've got like good job, great, excellent, wow, what does that say, fantastic, well done, what else does it say, fantastic, oh, good job, fantastic, super, wow, amazing, excellent, well done, great. So just, just cute, they're just kind of cute and you know, maybe somebody needs to hear, you know, something, a happy words on the day they receive their package. So I just thought they were cute and for under $2.00. Yeah, I got them. You could use those. These would be great for teachers. Um, great if you have a ch children at home with chore charts and they did their chores. You could put that on there. You could put it on, you know, homework. Then maybe they brought home a test with a really great grade on it. You could put it on the fridge and put some of these stickers on there. Lots of uses for those beyond what I got them for. I think. Oh, we got two more items. And then we're done. So I'll put that down there. So this item, I just thought it was kind of cute. I wanted to try them. I don't know how they'll work for me. You can't really see earrings much with my hair unless I do that or something. Um, but I have a piercing here and then I have this piercing. And they did it too close together, so they almost look like one earring. I'm too chicken to go further yet. <laughs> if you've done it, let me know. It doesn't really hurt as you go further. <laughs> um, but these were a set, and which did I get? You can get one, three, five, six, or 12 pieces. 
I got the five pieces and it was 58 cents when I purchased it. Plus I got a refund. So right now, oh my goodness, right now, let me see. The, the one, no, the five piece is 18 cents. Dang. So you could get this for 18 cents, but they are golden or silvery. You can get either kind. Uh, Multi-style alloy ear clip, no piercing hook clip earrings for women, girls. Love their descriptions. But they're just these little ones that just kind of hook onto your ear and pretend that you have a piercing. <laughs> I'm going to pretend. So I got this one. And you see on the back, they're just they're just open on the back so you can flip it over your ear wherever you want to place it. And it looks like you have a piercing. So that's the first one. Then there's this one. Oh, this one's pretty. There's this one. So it's got these little leaf design. And again, the opening on the back. That's two. And this one is almost the same, but it's smaller, more delicate looking. You just got the leaves, very tiny. And then we've got a triple. So we had a double before, and now we've got a triple. So you put that on your ear. Look like you have three piercings almost. And last but not least is your traditional kind of a cuff. As far as traditional modern can be. <laughs> so there's that. And like I said, for 18 cents, it's worth a try. <laughs> I can be cool. <laughs> My daughter has lots. She's got piercings all over. She's even got that long bar thing and everything. She's braver than I am. And now she's um, learning to be a piercer, piercing artist. So yeah, she has that and tattoos. And yeah, I don't have a tattoo. My son has tattoos. My daughter has tattoos. And I've been too chicken. <laughs> so, so yeah, they're the only ones in my our family that have tattoos. Isn't that weird. My dad was in the service, never got a tattoo. My brother was in the service, never got a tattoo. My other two brothers never got any. Um, so my kids are the first people that got tattoos. Um, okay. So this one is a little too late. I'm gonna have to put it away for next year. But I got them good. They were dollar ninety three. But we're partially refunded. Now they're a dollar fifty-eight. They come in three different choices. I liked the mixture here. So these are for Halloween. They are skeleton mismatched drop earrings, punk skeleton bride Halloween earrings for girls and women. Anyway, I liked the couple. So you got your couple skeleton. She's wearing a dress, and he's just hanging out. And all their limbs can move. You know, they're all just linked together so they you're going to get a lot of movement and eye catching um you know these would be very eye catching and they are long they're extremely light there's they're the lightest i don't even know if they're metal i think they're silver plastic but very light but that's about how they'll show on your ear nice and long Woo. so and you'll get a little no they don't make much noise at all uh, but anyway there's that but you can get them like this you can get two of the girls or you can get two of the boys and just wear it like that. So you can get a matching set like that, matching set like that, or a mismatch set, which is the one I got. And like I said, $1.58. Okay, I told you it was a short one. So that's my Atimu haul. So tomorrow, um, Tomorrow, I will be going to the post office and mailing this, and I might bring you with. Um, I'm going to go, I'm thinking about, I'm debating. Do you think I need my hair cut already? Again, has it gotten too long? I wasn't sure or not. So I'm debating a haircut, a little trim on it or not, because I have my interview on Tuesday. Today's Sunday. Uh, so we'll do that, and then there's a couple of things I need at Aldi, and... Um, We'll see what else I get up to tomorrow. So that's what we'll be for tomorrow. Oh, and then my dad, my dad. So remember I told you he's make, taking full advantage of the free meals for Veterans Day. And so was my brother in Jacksonville. I mean, if they were together, they'd be going together. But my brother lives in Jacksonville, Florida. So they were talking and comparing their meals. <laughs> Um, so on Friday, remember we went to Denny's after my dad's doctor's appointment and, and he got the free Grand Slam 
and the gentleman paid for his meal and he was so ecstatic. Um, and then he told me they went to um, uh, yesterday, what was it, Huddle House? I don't know if you've heard of those, like a Waffle House, whatever, breakfast place. He went there and got free food. They had a special menu for, you know, a special meal for the veterans that only the veterans were supposed to get. But the waiter said to my mom, oh, do you want that too? And she said, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And he brought it. And then when it came time to pay, he asked for their military ID cards. And my dad showed his. And my mom's like, I wasn't in the military. And he said, oh, I should have asked you that. You shouldn't have been able to get that meal. Don't tell my boss. So, yeah, so they got their meal. I don't know if they charged him or not. I, I don't, he didn't say. And then they went somewhere, I forget where they went for lunch, but they went somewhere for a free lunch. And then for dinner, they went to Cece's Pizza. I don't know if y'all have that, but Cece's is kind of cool. I mean, it's, you know, average, I'm from Chicago, so I'm like a pizza snob. But uh, <laughs> they, it's like average pizza. But the cool thing about them is you pay one price. And um, it's a buffet kind of, it's a buffet style. So you, there's a salad bar. It's got all kinds of salad bar items and things that you can get there to start off your meal if you'd like. And then they have a whole bunch of different kinds of pizzas, uh, full pizzas, and then you just can pick slices off of it and take, you know, sample all kinds. If there's something you really like, you can just tell them I'd like, you know, a half a, a half a, you know, pepperoni pizza and they'll make it and then call your number up there for it so you can get what you really like or you can sample them all which I find fun uh, so we did that and then they have also a dessert um, buffet bar so you can get different kinds of like pizza desserts and brownies and, and and stuff like that so yeah he had a awesome time doing that he said uh, and then he called me oh no that was their lunch and then he called me last night and so we're on our way to your house we're, we're gonna come in by you we're gonna get dinner and I was like oh thank goodness I haven't eaten already well okay <laughs> so we went to Applebee's and they had a special veterans menu with I don't know six or eight items on there so he had um breaded shrimp so you had that for dinner and then they also gave you a little card and I thought it was just for veterans but they gave one to each of us um, a little card that gave you five dollars off of your next visit that you have to go to before December 2nd. So, uh, yeah, so they got that, they got those cards too. So that was, that was really nice. So, uh, but when he dropped me off, he said, well, I'll, I'll see you Monday. And I was like, wait a minute, Monday, what? You know, I'm, I, I automatically, when he says, I'll see you, I'm thinking golf. And I'm like, well, we're not going golfing on Monday. And then he was like, remember Golden Corral? So Golden Corral, which is a buffet place down here. Um, it's like old country buffet. If you that used to be up north, we had an old country buffet, and so it's like that. Anyway, they have free meal on Veterans Day tomorrow on Monday, starting at 5 p.m. So he's like, I'll be at your house at four. I'm like, okay, Dad. Because <laughs> we gotta go down the highway to get there, and sometimes with the construction on my bridge, uh, it can take a while. So Anyway, so that's also what I'm doing tomorrow is I have to go to Golden Corral, <laughs> but um, it'll be my mom and dad and then my mom's cousin who we always call aunt, but just because she's older than me, but uh, she's all, they're also going to have her go there too. And I haven't seen her in a while, so that'll be nice. So that is my Monday. <laughs> and of course, betwixt all of that, I'll be doing job apps and, and, and prepping myself mentally for my interview Tuesday morning at nine, Ugh, nine. Anyway. Um, yeah, you know, you get used to not having to wear makeup and all this stuff other than when I'm doing videos. Oh, so I gotta get all ready before nine. It's good practice, but anyway. Uh, okay, so that is that. I hope you enjoyed this Timu haul. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for getting me to 500 subscribers. I so appreciate that. I mean, I love you all for getting me there. It's amazing. Um, and then lastly, our mindfulness card. So this one I thought was absolutely appropriate for today. And here is the question. Who are some people you are thankful for and why? You know it, you guys. You know it. Um, you know it's, you know, Gamer Mom and it's Adrian and it's Darlene and it's, oh my God, there's all these names and I know I'm forgetting them and Mimi and, um, oh my gosh, I have so many of you. I'm so sorry. I, I can't name all 500, but, um, <laughs> it's you guys I am so thankful for, especially some of those names who have been with me 
like almost from the start of doing these haul parts of my YouTube channel. Um, you guys have stuck with me and been so supportive and so kind and just, you know, pumping me up and, you know, you're, you're going to get a job and, and your channel's going to get to 500 and you're doing awesome and all the love for Bella, you know, all the hugs and kisses that always come and, and I do, I give them to her, uh, but, you know, all of that for her and not minding her barking or, you know, whatever, or understanding that I can't right now do as much Timu hauling or Dollar Tree hauling as I would really like to financially, so... Knowing, and, and I'm telling myself, I'm getting both of those jobs. I'm getting both of them, and I'm going to have to decide between the two. I'm going to have the luxury of deciding between the two, which would I prefer to work for. So it's I'm, I'm setting out that positivity. You all keep telling me, go for it. And I, and I believe in that wholeheartedly. So in my head, I'm getting those two jobs. I'm getting those two jobs. So um, this my financial situation will change. The one, if I, if I choose the one job, it will change starting in January when they're hiring. Um, the other one, they didn't tell me when the hiring date would be, but that would change whenever that happens. So, yeah, I'm getting one of those jobs. I'm getting one of those jobs. So I am thankful to you guys, and that is the reason why, because you have made my heart whole. Um, you were there when I had that embarrassing, um, crying team <laughs> when I got when I got laid off um, during the video. Um, on my lunch break. So that was, that was awesome. But you guys were there for me and, and put up with me through that and still stayed subscribed, which was awesome. Uh, you've been with me through my trying to lose weight, which I got to get back on the bandwagon again. I've been kind of slacking. Um, and just through everything. And I know you'll be through everything that I go through in my life. So that is so comforting. And I'm here for you guys. Um, you know, one of you has had, um, a surgery on your knee and I, and I was, I was there praying for you, thinking about you, hoping everything was going great. Um, a couple of you have lost pets, and that's horrifying to me because, yeah, she's going to be 13 on Christmas. Um, and I and I hope I've given you some comfort there in my comments. And I hope we've been there for each other as a community. So I do love you guys for that. And then two other people, of course, are my parents. So I'm just so glad they're still around. I am so blessed and lucky to have a almost 90 year old dad and my mom wouldn't want me to say her age but she's a little younger than my dad uh, so uh she's in her 80s but um yeah to have them still around to have them still spending time with me to be able to golf with my dad at 89 come on i'm so blessed so thankful for them and he's always saying do you need any money I'm like, no, I'm still okay. I'm still, I'll let you know. I, trust me, I'll let you know if I need a little help or borrow something until I'm working or whatever. But, you know, do you need anything? What can I help you with? And he still tries to help me with things I don't want him helping me with because he's 89. Like, you know, he's like, I'll help you put your doors up. And I'm like, no, no, it's okay. I got somebody to help me. I fib. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want him to physically help me with a lot of stuff. But they're always there for me. Always. So, yeah. Those are the people I'm thankful for. You guys, my parents, and of course everybody else. My grandkids. Oh my God, you know I'm thankful for them. They're amazing. My daughter, amazing. My son, amazing. Uh, you know, there's there's so many people I'm thankful for. My my ex bosses who are giving me glowing references uh, for future jobs. I'm so thankful for getting to know them and being able to have worked with them and and having them be there for me when I need it and to have them be as sad about my leaving as I was. Uh, there's lots of people in my life, the Girl Scouts I'm so thankful for. So I could go on and on and on as I'm sure you can. But if you want to tell me in the comments, if you want to answer that in the comments, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear some of the people that you're thankful for and, and more importantly, why. You know, what, what has somebody done for you in your life or, or what are you appreciative about them? It's so cool to hear these heartwarming stories, especially, you know, we're getting the heartwarming time. We're getting the Thanksgiving where we're thankful for stuff and we're getting the Christmas where everybody's, the love's flowing and the kindness should be flowing. And so let's flow with it. So give me some happy stories. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, think about me, uh, on Tuesday on my interview and know I'm going to get this job. Just know it. Just, if we all just know it, then it has to be right. Okay. So again, something I'm thankful for. The, it's not a little thing today. It's a big thing. It's y'all. It's 500 subscribers. It's you guys. So that's my thankfulness for today and my good thing about today. And um, that's about it. I'm going to let you go. And I'm hoping that you're having a wonderful um, weekend. I'm hoping that um, you have a great week ahead of you. 
Again, thank you to anybody for your service. If you are a veteran um, or you know somebody, thank them for me. And uh, we really appreciated the sacrifices uh, that you made to serve our country. And that's amazing. So I hope you got some of that free food my dad's been enjoying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it. Bella's snoring. Of course, she just stopped when I said there was one. I don't know if you can hear that, but she's snoring. <laughs> My love bug. But anyway, um, yeah, have an amazing whatever it is today, morning, afternoon, night, whatever. Thank you guys so much. And if I didn't mention you in my thank yous, it does not mean that you have gone unappreciative. It means that my brain can only hold so many names in there. And then it's like a hard drive. It has only got so much storage space so but i'm thankful for each and every one of you thank you so much for making one of my dreams come true and so quickly that uh i'm blown away so yeah find that one thing you're grateful for today even if it's something teeny tiny remember you're awake you made it through the night or whatever you're you're alive there's your thing okay guys love you all thank you thank you so much Remember to subscribe, comment, like, whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll get to the next goal. <laughs> okay, but I'm just going to take uh, take time just enjoying this moment before I start to push myself to another pinnacle. Uh, we're going to enjoy this. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye. We made it. Bye. <laughs>